Our top story here at 5 o'clock. If local law enforcement officers work with immigration and customs enforcements at all, they must explain it at a community forum, and that forum was held today. 17's Jenny Hu was there and joins us now with more. Jenny? Tammy, the Truth Act requires a community forum so officials can be transparent with what happened in that past year and get public feedback. Today, the Kern County Sheriff's Office released statistics for last year, 2022, and immigrant advocates pushed the county to stop working with ICE once and for all. Stop imprisoning our immigrants. If an undocumented person is in the custody of the Kern County Sheriff's Office, they can't just be handed over to immigration authorities like ICE. But the Sheriff's Office can and is working with ICE in certain situations. An immigration release notification is about, is about the closest thing I can call it. According to KCSO, that release notification means deputies can provide ICE with someone's release date and time if requested. If ICE isn't there for the release, the person is still released without delay. KCSO reported last year a little over 23,400 people were booked into its jails. ICE requested a notification of release for five of them, so 0.02%. The Sheriff's Office said this was a drop from 0.07% in 2021. Of those five inmates last year, one was transferred to ICE. Three were transferred back in 2021. But KCSO said as of 2014, they don't hold people for ICE anymore. KCSO policy strictly prohibits any kind of hold for immigration authorities agents and does not permit any staff member to accept a hold request. This means they no longer keep someone past their release date on local charges. During public comment, immigration advocates wondered how much of their tax dollars supported potential deportation. What is the fiscal impact of this on our tax dollars, on our county budgets, on the Office of Law Enforcement? Is that funding that can be rerouted to additional community programs. In a statement to 17 News, KCSO said, quote, the sheriff's office does not provide any funding for working with ICE. KCSO also said, quote, at this time, there is no discussion to discontinue working with ICE where allowed by law. Live in studio, Jenny Ha, 17 News.